Hey guys, today we're gonna make two low poly game assets. This time we're gonna do shields and we're gonna do two different versions, like a Nordic shield and one of those classic like middle middle ages European shields. So let's get on that. Just open up a new document and delete the default cube and replace it with a cylinder and rotate that on the x-axis 90 degrees so we can see it. In edit mode, scale it in on the y-axis to about there. I think that was 0.1. And then select the faces, the front and back faces, and inset it 0.1 over and over again. You can use shift R to do it multiple times or to repeat the same action multiple times. Now turn on proportional editing and I think sphere looks good. And then on the Y axis, bring them in and you can do control number pad plus to uh, increase your selection. And I'm gonna bring this in like that. So now we have the basic shape and, oh wait, to get that spike thing because the Nordic shields have like a spike on them. So just extrude two of the faces out and, oh, only extrude the first face out a little bit and then bring this out and in vertex mode, press M and merge at center and then you have a spike. Now to change the texture, make it look all make it look all wooden with the paint and stuff. You get a good wood color. I think that looks good, yeah. And then you can do control plus again, get that spike and make a new metal color. And assign it. That looks good. Then, if you, for the stripes, you go into face mode and select two rows each, like this, and make that a new material. I think red could look good. Oh, and also get the outside faces if you want it to look nicer. And then get the other loops that are in the between of the wood and the red. And get the outside loops too. Then make a new material, and I think white could look good. Might want to play with the wood texture I can make the front a blue and then the back could be a wood it's all based on your preference so that looks good that's like a British kind of like a Union Jack you can shade smooth if you want and do the normal auto smooth. It makes the spike look a little weird, but I couldn't figure out how to fix that. So, yeah. You could also subdivide it. And that sometimes helps with the spike. And it looks good. Does look a little weird on the back though, but it's okay. So now for the Middle Ages shield, we'll just put the Nordic shield over there. Get a cube, scale it in on the Y about 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 maybe. And then get the bottom face and extrude down and scale in on the X. And then just do that until you have a nice slope and yeah now get the front faces and inset them and extrude them in and then get the wood material you already had and then 
go into texture paint if you want like a like a coat of arms on the emblem and choose a color I'll do I'll do orange and then make oh you gotta get that and assign it now texture paint it and you could just do like a cool oh you also have to re-unwrap that there you go now you can paint it and I'll just make like a or like a cool I don't know I'll just do a cross again because that was a thing that they did and that's how you get that and yeah two different kinds of shields that you can put in your low poly game and yeah if you liked what you saw We'll be making low poly weapons next time we do a game, a game asset video. So subscribe and hit the bell for notifications if you want to learn how to make a low poly sword or a hammer or something. And yeah, see you next time.